Harris is the biggest uh, security company in the world. They employ 630,000 people. We protect from <coughs> half a Walmart. And they are a good company, I suppose. And they, um, in England, uh, in England, in the UK, they run the security services and they provide the security apparatus, the CCTV cameras and uh, personnel and advice to celebrities, banks, uh, the European government, actually, the UK government. They also run, it's quite interesting, they run prisons. They run four prisons in this country. They run also immigrant uh, uh, centers. They're responsible for the deportation uh, of, uh, of immigrants. It's not in this country anymore, but in other countries. And, they, and the same is happened in another around 120 countries. So, so they, through their subsidiaries, they, they are really active in 120 countries. Um, now, for the, for the Olympics in London, they, they managed to get 100 million pounds from the UK government to run the security, um, and they are going to, to train and employ 10,000 people, and they're going to be deployed the many inside the, the Olympic sites, so basically while outside the policy will be left to the, to the government and to the police. Now, why we are campaigning against, uh, against G4S? G4S uh, is a normal, long series of uh, accusation of breaking human rights, a little bit everywhere in the world, in Indonesia, in South Africa, in America, where they run prison also, and a little bit, they are accused by their own people, by their own workers of breaking uh, worker rights and of breaching of human rights, so racism and the torture and violence and all the rest. We are, con we are concentrating mainly in, uh, um, on the case from um, the West Bank and the occupied Palestinian territory <coughs> in Israel because this is where G4S is more responsible than in any other situation of breaching of international law, the Geneva Convention and all the other rules that the international bodies have they come out with after the Second World War. And mainly, I would say that the worst uh, situation is the four prisons. They run four or five prisons. They run, they provide security services in four or five prisons in, uh, in Central West Bank and Israel, where basically all human rights organizations, Israeli and non-Israelis, have said that they did have committed torture. We are talking about real torture. We have been documented many times. And not only against the political uh, Palestinian are all uh, prisoners, uh, they're all sub uh, submitted to military law, not normal law, and they, um, they, for example, we are talking about not only adults, we're talking mainly of children. We're talking about children who are 12, 13 year old, they get picked up from the houses, thrown into prison, no legal representative, no uh, relatives, uh, they get uh, sent to solitary confinement, they get tortured, shackled into 20 chairs, that's the position usually where it's checked for four, six hours, and the broken fingers, and, uh, sexual assault, or threats of sexual assault, and other things like this. And uh, G4S also provides uh, security services and the CCTV camera to the checkpoints, uh, the parole part of the upper side wall that is uh, basically uh, against international law, and they also provide security equipment uh, to the illegal settlements in the West Bank. So they are basically uh, contravening the Geneva Convention that forbids the country to, to move their uh, civilian population inside occupied territories. Now, why we think G4S is responsible? G4S says oh, they only sell stuff and they're not responsible for what is done with it. But actually, following European laws, actually company is <coughs> only responsible for what their things are used to for in a way, especially in the case of security. They know what was going on in this prison because they provide CCTV cameras during interrogation for the and during the testing. So they know what's going on and they keep providing uh, uh, security. So um, we'll talk uh, in, the, in, sorry, in the workshop for more about the responsibility of the company. Oh. And I think the conference. Oh, 